Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This JJ Banda aggravated robbery charge and the subsequent escape, the escape, a subsequent escape from police custody. It continues baffling the nation. Okay, at least for us who are saying we we are baffled by it. I know praise singers, you are zombies, so you you won't even understand what we are trying to say. But hopefully, those who are waking up from zombie land and 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 ordinary citizens who are concerned about this nation, we want to find out some questions. Um, Buya Hamonga, the police spokesperson yesterday issued out a write up, and he was saying that uh, they're going to the homes of the is it the cousins or the sisters uh, of of honorable jj banda is just normal practice of investigations and they may not tell us much because it will job ties their investigations right we get that and then he went on to say that we should not be speculating as a public now mbuya there is where the problem is going to come in we have a problem with you saying we shouldn't speculate you see mbuya your salary and everything you're doing as a police officer is our money. I want you to understand that. Is our money. So where our money is concerned, we are, we are going to speak up and where information is not adding up, we will speculate. Okay? We will speculate. Not because we are just trying to be funny. We have no time to be funny, Mbuya. We are very serious people. You see, what we are doing is costing us a lot. It's costing us relationships we built for years. It's costing us friendships. It's costing us even money. So, Mbuya, we are not here to joke. Okay? But we are concerned. We are concerned. I have tried to find out this aggravated robbery charge on jj banda is involving how much and so far i hear it's involving 200 kwacha mbuya you see mbuya 200 kwacha and this whole crime it was a, whatever happened to this gentleman our countryman our comrade is regrettable but whatever happened to him this journalist who is not even a known journalist that much he was compensated. If you're talking about 200 kwacha aggravated robbery, we hear he was compensated 10,000 kwacha. So, Mbuya, we don't understand why that charge was important. And the timing of the charge, Mbuya, is another cause of concern. Our cause of concern is that, Mbuya, this JJ Banda became member of parliament in 2021. And you were not concerned about the fact that he had stolen a 200 quarter from some journalist who was already compensated 10,000 quarter for the same. I don't know if it's 10,000 quarter. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But I heard it, I heard it was thousands of quarter, right? JJ Banda wins the election of Petauke Central as member of parliament in 2021. Mbuya, you are not following him up for a crime that he had committed already four years earlier or something like that. Mbuya, we see JJ Banda around with the president, laughing with the president, chatting with the president, cordial with the president. Mbuya, the charge of 200 quarter aggravated robbery is still there. Nothing is happening. Fast forward, we see now JJ Banda with ECL so. Okay? We see JJ Banda with ECL so. And now suddenly, JJ Banda disappears. Suddenly, JJ Banda disappears, and information no, he has been abducted. And the abduction is, is very professionally done somehow, though amateur, but still, it involves people with money. Because JJ Banda is also Alibamo, okay? Alibamo. So, for him to be chingered, there must have been people who were at least Palevo 
Floyd, yeah. Mamana. And we hear that it was cars blocking him in front and vehicles blocking him back and big guns, right? Boya. The police service didn't seem concerned. Even the type of investigations we are seeing you carrying out over JJ Banda escaping because he he aggravatedly robbed a person of 200 kwacha. The abduction is far more serious in Boya. Because I, as Namaka, I'm sitting here and I'm wondering if I'm stolen the way they stole JJ Banda. Because me, I'm not even difficult to steal. I'm also even a woman. What can I do? The police service doesn't care that I could be stolen. Because that's how I'm looking at it. If they stole JJ Banda, I'm thinking they can also steal me, right? And I'm looking at how the police service did not thoroughly investigate the abduction of JJ Banda. Like, you're not even concerned about it. Like, you don't care. And, and, and it baffles me that you're not concerned that a whole honorable member of parliament was abducted. But you are concerned that that member of parliament, when he was still like a pio pio some eight years ago, he stole 200 kwacha. That you spent so much time making sure you kept him in police custody, despite that he was coming out of an ordeal of abduction. This abduction, we know it happened because there are audios that have been leaked. Whereby, despite the Minister of Home Affairs insisting that JJ Banda was okay and trying to underplay, downplay the whole abduction, we have heard from those interviews between the permanent secretaries and the minister with JJ Banda that clearly JJ Banda was abducted and traumatized and harmed. But you, as the police service, that is not important to you. But a 200 kwacha grabbed from them some non entity journalist who actually even received compensation in thousands. It's more important. Something Buya is not adding up. Buya, we are not police officers. But we have been to school, Buya. And we have got given intelligence, Buya. We can deduce and say it's not adding up. Okay, Buya. That's where the speculation comes in. We are not trying to undermine you as police service. But we are questioning your professionalism. In how you have responded to the entire unfolding of events. That's why we are, and we are questioning simply because, not because of you as an individual. We, are, we don't even care about your personal life. It has nothing to do with us. We are speaking to you as the police spokesperson. And saying, you, you've told us information. Now we're giving you back the feedback. So that communication can take place. We are saying it's not making sense. Your insistence on this aggravated robbery of 200 kwacha over J.J. Banda's abduction. The crime of abduction. You see, if you say J.J. Banda was, in, was involved in a heinous crime where they robbed Zanako or they robbed Natsev or they robbed um, Bank of Zambia trucks so or they did some serious crime, would be concerned. But in Buya, this crime that you have taken... JJ Banda for aggravated robbery is the same crime for the circumstance that this same complainant was compensated in thousands. So we are wondering why you are underplaying the, the, the abduction and exaggerating the 200 kwacha so-called aggravated robbery charge where a person was already compensated in thousands. This is where the speculation comes in. And the, 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 the manpower behind looking for JJ Banda and the activities looking for JJ Banda. Number one, even where I am, I know if you are going to escape, you are not going to inform your family. You are not. You don't want to put them in problems. You're just going to disappear. Okay? If anything, maybe you write like a note which they will destroy upon reading. Something like that. Otherwise, you can't make phone calls, emails. You can't. Unless you talk about that man. Okay? But we are, we, <clears throat> we think JJ Banda. Our speculation now is that JJ Banda has something big to tell us as a people. He has something big to tell us as a people. That's what we're beginning to, to understand. Because, you see, on Buya, you know, 
we want to have respect and belief in you as the police service but you are leaving us with questions Mbuya. you are leaving us with questions because it's not adding up this issue of jj banda it seems there's more to it and they're using you the police the upn is using the police because upn the affiliates were mentioned in that abduction is there a cover up? We are asking questions, in We are we are not trying to undermine your job, but we are asking questions because it is our taxpayers' money you are using to the point of saying two million mukali pilang about me cut. Two million. Oh that quit that quit my light if you want to spend two million or looking for a person who stole two hundred quarts. Ah or something is missing. We are missing something. JJ, what do you have to say? I think we need to hear you, JJ. What do you have to say? It must be important. This is Exclusive. all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go